Broadcasting live four days a week worldwide. From the sunny beaches of Southern California. This is ExtremeHealthRadio.com. This is Dr. Bradley Nelson, author of The Emotion Code, How to Release Your Trapped Emotions for Abundant Health, Love, and Happiness. You're listening to Justin and Kate on Extreme Health Radio. For more information about The Body Code, visit ExtremeHealthRadio.com forward slash body code. Today, Kate, we have our first day of rain, don't we? Oh my gosh, we need it. It's California actually, needs it. It's actually winter time for the first time in six months here <laughs> in mid-February. Right. right. First day of rain, I can't believe it. I know. I thought we were actually going to have the eternal summer. I know, it's amazing. For the whole year. We were just talking with Jeff before the show and he's at, it's like 75 degrees and sunny there. Well, it was like that only two days ago here. We were laying out on our break on the deck and getting a, getting a tan going. That's right. We were working weird. on our little tans. Weird, weird, weird. Getting our vitamin D. Right? Love it. Thank you everybody for joining us. This is going to be a really fun show. We're going to be looking into olive leaf extract and a really interesting company called East Park Research doing some really unique things with olive leaf and so we're going to be talking about that with Jeff Melcher but I'll introduce him in just a moment. Today is Thursday, February 27th, 2014. You'd be you, happy you with You got it? Yeah, you'd be happy with me. I got the date right for the first time <laughs> for in six once, months. For once, right? I know. <laughs> Only on rainy days do I get right, the date right. 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 <laughs> Which is going to be very rare. <laughs> <laughs> very rare. So thanks everybody for joining us. This is episode number 212. So you'd be able to check out that page if you have any comments or anything like that. And if you'd like to continue the discussion, you can always jump over to our forums and join the free forums for our listeners. You can find those links on our website. And so you can check that out as well. If you'd like to support our work and keep our shows free, uh, it would be amazing if you would consider doing that. All 212 shows that we've done are 100% free. You can share them with anyone. Nobody, Nobody has to sign up to our website. And so a great way to, to do that is to make your purchases through Amazon, through our link. So if you go to extremehealthradio.com slash Amazon, every time you make a purchase, you can buy anything you want and we'll get a little commission. So that's a great way to... You win, we win. That's right. Truly, everybody wins. Everybody wins here. Yeah, <laughs> you get so. your stuff, we get a, we get to keep our lights on. <laughs> <laughs> and keep providing free shows for right. you too. So if you'd like to join the show, lots of different ways to do that. You can send me an email, justin at extremehealthradio.com. Or kate, K-A-T-E, at extremehealthradio.com. And you can also send a voicemail. We have links for that on the website. You can pre-record a voicemail to send in to our guests. You can also listen to the show live, which is happening right as we speak. Extremehealthradio.com slash live every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday morning Mm -hmm. at 9 a.m. Pacific. And jump in the chat room. I'm jump. manning it. I'll be here. That's right. Kate will be in the chat room. <laughs> yeah. So today we've got Jeff Melcher, and he's uh, with East Park Research. Really interesting what he's doing and what they're doing over there, and he's been working with them for quite a lot of years. And so let me unmute him here. <laughs> so thanks a lot, Jeff, for, uh, for joining the show today. Thanks. Appreciate the time. Yeah, no worries. So you've been with East Park for quite a few years. Is that right? Quite a few years, because my grandfather was the one that started up the company, and so I kind of grew up, lived around it, but it wasn't until I went to school for about eight years that I realized that East Park Research was on to something. Mm. Really? It took, you know, I think once you're involved with family stuff, it kind of, I think you have to step away for a while to kind of really figure it out, right? Exactly, and, and go and get some schooling on what kind of research and what what were they really doing because a lot of times you hear oh, there's all these supplements out there and they have all these claims to fame and, you know, to find something that had some research behind it, you know, because I, I went out and went to college to conquer the world, right, cure <laughs> cure cancer or something, you know. Right. <laughs> and it's not until you're done and you start to kind of realize Hey, let's see what other people are doing. Yeah, right. We never want to believe our families first, right? It's like it's like whenever you have a trainer, you know, like a husband can never be a trainer for a wife, you know? It just doesn't work. So true, so true. You know, it just can't happen. 
So that's cool. So you've been with uh, East Park. And so when did your grandfather start the, the company? He actually, my uncle ended up passing away in the 80s. And it was from an immune disorder. He actually had HIV. And so my grandfather, successful businessman, sold everything and said, I want to find something that can help people so so other people don't have to go through what I went through. And he spent about seven years doing research, and he actually got his inspiration from the tree of life, the olive tree. Hey, maybe there's something about it. Went ahead, looked at all the different research, and it was amazing. There was a lot of breakthroughs, and they could only get the therapeutic component to work in a Petri dish. And if it did work in the body, it was only about two minutes. And so that's where he started his research, and it took him about seven years to finally crack that code. Isn't that wild? And what year was that? That was in 1995, and so we've been around since then, and we've been doing studies ever since on our specific product and our patented extraction process. Wow, that's crazy. And so I wonder what made your grandfather look at the olive tree. Uh, did he look at a lot of different things first, and then he kind of came on that, or how did that work? Um, he he kind of looked at some different avenues, and again, it was the, the tree of life, I mean, whether you believe in the Bible or not, there's still some scientific pieces in it that go, huh, and they spark interest. Also, got a lot of the ideas from the Amazon. Mm-hmm. They were, at that time, they were starting to discover all of these new plants and all these new therapeutic components, and that's really what drove his, his driving force on looking at the natural market instead of trying to go into something pharmaceutical. It was maybe there's something already here on Earth that could potentially boost your immune system so much that you wouldn't have to worry about viruses, funguses, and bacteria. That's interesting. Yeah, you mentioned, uh, biblically speaking, I know there's references in Revelation and Ezekiel to to the olive leaf tree. Isn't, is that what it's re- referring to? Uh, yeah, the, the, the fruit will feed nations, and I believe it's, uh, the tree will heal nations, Isn't and that so right? that's where we got. That's that's where the olive olive extract comes from. Is from the actual tree, the leaves. Who would have thought? I heard there's, I heard recently that there's olive trees that have been around for a couple thousand years. Is that right? Oh, thousands of years, and they're still here. And the interesting thing is, is you don't have to use pesticides on them because they have this natural component inside them that repels the fungus. Bugs don't like to eat them. They don't get sick, and it's all naturally done. Isn't that That's crazy? why they're still here. Yeah, it's crazy. Wow. I did not know that, because I know, like, golly, the battle we have with our own little citrus trees is just an ever-constant problem. Like, <laughs> I've never tried, <laughs> never tried all of them before. I had no clue. Wow. That's interesting. So it's almost got its own innate immune system kind of thing? Built in. It, yeah. it, it really sounds like it does, and that's really what it is. And, and what's interesting is you go back to ancient Egypt, and in ancient Egypt, they would chew on the branches to get some of those therapeutic components, on the leaves, if you will. And then they'd chew on them for a little bit and spit them out. Then they'd need more, chew on them, spit them out. And that's actually where the olive branch came from as a sign of friendship and peace and those sort of things because you had to always have a friend keep bringing you an olive branch. And so that extending of the olive branch with leaves really started in ancient Egypt and those same therapeutic components. Isn't that wild? Wow. So now I've, I've heard that olive trees, are they, are they sprayed these days when, and people just don't understand how strong they are or... Um, well, they're, they're trying to get more out of them, whether it's from olive oil. We make sure our leaves that we get, and a lot of times uh, companies that are going for the, extra, the extract of the leaves really go and find the leaves that are um, completely all natural that don't have pesticides. That's kind of a standard because a lot of people in the industry do understand that they do have amazing therapeutic components and they don't need all of all of the stuff that we tend to put on uh, our food and fruit that we need. Yeah, that makes hmm. sense. 
So with the olive tree, um, are there similar components that get broken down and get put into things like olive oil, or are there only components that go into the leaf that are different than things like olive oil? Uh, the, the olive oil, it, it's completely different because you're, you're looking at the olives and then, um, you know, they're heating it up, they're trying to get the oil, where we're trying to look at the component physically in the leaves. And we'll buy, let's say, 10,000 kilos of leaves, and when we're done just through our first process, we only have 3,000. So we actually lose 70% of just the pulp and everything else because the therapeutic component is such a minute uh, piece of the leaves. You have to really go in large scales, and it keeps breaking down smaller and smaller and smaller. And, and, wow. And, Yeah. That's oh. crazy. So, in so, what's the claim to fame with the leaf? <laughs> if there's such a thing as a claim to fame with the leaf, <laughs> but what's the claim to fame? Like, what's its main? I know it's probably good for lots of different things, but is it like primarily an antifungal thing or antivirus thing? What's its main constituent? Well, to really understand the main function of the leaf, you have to understand your immune system. What's the one thing that can actually kill a virus? There's no drugs. There's no man-made stuff. It's only your own immune system. Mm -hmm. And when you think a young adult typically is very healthy, they can come into contact with flu viruses, cold viruses, West Nile viruses, you name it, they come in contact. And the reason why you don't see any outbreaks or have any issues with the younger generation dying from a bad cold or virus is because their immune system is strong enough. Uh-huh. How many people out there have had chicken pox? Mm-hmm. Guess what? The shingles virus is living in your body right now. Why don't I have outbreaks and blisters on my skin? My immune system's strong enough. That's why we typically see it in older adults. And so it's only once your immune system breaks down enough that it can take a stronghold and you see those, those outbreaks, if you will. And so it really comes to the main component of your immune system and making sure that's strong enough. That's what the therapeutic component of the olive leaf extract does, is it works with your immune system. That's and so right. to pinpoint it on one thing, you can't, because your immune system can kill anything it comes in contact with. If it didn't, we would be dying from it. That's yeah, right, yeah. that's right. So with the olive leaf extract, you said you typically discard about 70% of the, uh, of the olive leaves that come in. Um, in, in a 500 milligram capsule, I'm just curious, how many olive leaves do you think are contained in that? Is there, is there a way to know uh, that? Let's, let's say a gallon, probably in one little capsule. In one 500. In, wow. Yeah, one 500. And then the therapeutic component in that, it's actually called all Europin. Um, I always say, get into your Texas accent and say, are you roping? <laughs> you know, <laughs> to remember the word. That's the therapeutic component. And so there's a lot of olive leaf extracts out there. And the first thing you want to look for is the percentage of all you roping. Um, anything over 15 is going to be a really strong uh, extract. Okay. And those leaves are not easy to find. Um, and then... You know, when you're going through it, we have very key differences that makes the all your open last longer in your body. If you remember, I was talking about, you know, typically the therapeutic component, the all your open, will last in your body anywhere from 2 to 20 minutes. Oh, well, okay. our patented extraction process allows that same therapeutic component to last anywhere from seven to eight hours. Mm. Seven to eight hours, wow. That's seven to eight hours yeah. makes it bioavailable, and that's how we came up with the name delinolate because it's actually the scientific name of making that all your open bioavailable. So you call your product, the, the main staple product you have there with the olive leaf extract, you call that delinolate, right? Yeah, delinolate. When you break down the all your open, you get a right-handed and a left-handed molecule. They're stereoisomers. The best way to describe this, if you hold your hands out right in front of you Uh and you look at them, they're exactly the same, but one's pointing left and the other one's pointing right with your thumbs. 
<laughs> oh, right. Totally. <laughs> right? But they're still the same hand. You know, the front, back, the same fingerprints. Everything's identical. It's just flip-flop. That's a stereoisomer. The easy extraction process, you get the left-handed molecule, e-linolate. The right-handed molecule, the one that is bioavailable for seven to eight hours, the right-handed molecule is called D-linolate, and that's where we came up with the name for all our olive leaf extract, D-linolate. That's not that wild. And so what is the actual, how do you say it, oliuropin? Get into the Texas accent, <laughs> oliuropin? <laughs> <laughs> that might take a minute or two. Oh gosh, you that. sound like you've had some practice there, Jeff. <laughs> I did grow up in Dallas. So oh, no <laughs> fair. <somewhere> naturally. <laughs> you get a hall pass. That's funny. So what is that exactly? Uh, it's it's a molecule that um, is what it you know does the work, right? Yeah. It, it, to not go too into the science behind it, it's basically that therapeutic component that, that is actually working. So we have 500 milligrams of olive leaf extract in a capsule. Only 20% of that has the all-europin, the therapeutic component. That's why I said you're looking for something with a higher all-europin content at 15%. So now 20% of that 500 milligrams gives you 100 milligrams of the all-europin in your body, and that's what is working. That is what is going in and boosting your immune system. Now, I'm I'm saying all these things. Oh, it, it does this. I'm not just saying it. We have done clinical testing since 1995 our latest research that we just got done doing was a clinical double blind study on humans and every single person every single person in that study had an increase in their immune system and we actually drew blood and looked at it's something called the ROI factor reactive oxygen intermediate the best way to think about it is think of Pac-Man Pac-Man goes around, that's your white blood cell. It gobbles up all the viruses, funguses, all pathogens in your body. Well, inside that Pac-Man is what is actually killing it. Inside that Pac-Man is the ROI factor. So if we can increase that potency, we are making your white blood cells stronger. So instead of fighting it off with a pen, they get to fight it off with a machine gun. Wow. That's, that's the ROI factor in that. And what is the uh, man, manipole that uh, I've heard talked about? Is that Yeah, manipole is, is basically aloe vera extract. The only thing is, is manipole is called, that's the active ingredient in aloe. So there's, there's a lot of, when you go and you see you've got all these different ingredients on your shelf, you know, they get broken down into very specifics with our amazing technology of what actually is doing something. Hmm. Is there a danger, do you think, with people taking uh, too much? Because I know that, you know, some people's immune system, like with autoimmune diseases, is maybe turned on a little too high. Is there a danger with some people uh, if their immune system gets activated uh, too much so? Um, danger, yes and no. When I say yes, the danger is more uh, it, it works so well that, it actually will make you feel sick. Um, a lot of times it's called Herxheimer's reaction, die-off effect. It's, well, it's going in and regulating those white blood cells, making them stronger, making them more um, functionable. And so if somebody has an autoimmune disease, that's where we go, you know, you got to be really careful, walk with it with your doctor. We, we have had a lot of people be very successful with it, um, but you just need to take slow steps and... I've got somebody right now that's uh, on an autoimmune uh, issue, and she's currently on 14 pills a day. 14. But we had to start 14 500 milligram pills a day, so seven grams a day. Mm. But we started her off on 125 milligrams for a day. Oh my! And we built up over the past nine months, and now she doesn't have to go to the hospital anymore. She mm. originally had a life expectancy of three months. What that kind of condition did she months. have? Um, I can't go too far into it, oh, but see, it was some really rare disease, okay. and the doctors basically threw their hands in the air and said, we know you have an autoimmune issue, but your body's eating itself, and we think you've got three months to live. Um, don't know what to do. Get your affairs in order. Mm. As a last resort, gave us a call. Hey, I hear the product works and regulates and helps, and 
again, that was seven, eight, nine months ago. I think it was in July. Oh my gosh. Or June that that happened. I'm sure you guys probably get people calling up all the time telling you these types of things. <laughs> All the time, and, and we're, we're one of the few companies, 100% satisfaction guaranteed, no questions asked. It just, it just, our product works, and that's what makes it so enjoyable to come on your show and, and talk about it, you know, Extreme Health Radio, and go, there is something. I'm on the soapbox trying to tell you it's up to you. Take control of your immune system. I love it. I love it. Well, we're, mm, we're going to take amen. a little bit of, of a break right now, and uh, we'll be right back. This is really interesting. Uh, I think we could all use, you know, a, a stronger immune system. Yeah. You know? uh, I took olive leaf extract just as a... Um, you know, for a little bit with my condition, but I bought some from the store and I don't think it was very powerful. And so, um, I think it would be. Oh, when you had your bronchial infection? Yeah. 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 And so I don't think I was taking enough and I don't think it was very powerful. Mm -hmm. So next time I actually, I should just get on this just as a preventative. Yeah. We, we all need to. (laughs) Yeah. So this is a great company, East Park Research, and you can check out their website, um, on our show page if you like, extremehealthradio.com slash 212. Or you could go to extremehealthradio.com slash olive leaf, all one word. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, I do. (laughs) (laughs) So we're going to be right back with Jeff Melcher right after this break. I have to say, I have been absolutely loving this product by Tristan Truscott and Peter Ragnar called Good Morning, Good Evening, Qigong. If you want to listen to the interview we did with Tristan, you can go to extremehealthradio.com forward slash 127. And Qigong is a great way to de-stress the body. And as you know, there's a huge component to disease caused by stress. And stress is a huge factor in how we live our lives and the amount of energy we have and the amount of vitality we have. And so, Dr. Shade, what do you think about Qigong? People come to me and they're really sick and they got this blown out neurological system and all this toxicity. And I tell them, you need to do Qigong Tai Chi. You need to do these things that settle down and restore your neurology because it puts together all the parts. It puts you back into that state where you can start to detoxify. Mm. And so I highly, highly recommend all that. And what about you, Kit Campbell? What do you think about Qigong? Do you like it as well? Qigong is amazing and the reason that i believe it to be amazing is everything here is energy that is a scientific fact if there ever is one so Mm. when you're practicing qigong you're actually drawing energy into your body your intention whatever your intention is behind any action will determine the level of energy type of energy that you absorb into your body so your intention behind <laughs> your is very important, just like thought. So when you're practicing Qigong, you're actually bringing energy in and you're bringing out the stuff that might be a bit stale. With Tai Chi, it's totally different. The energy runs underneath the skin because it's, a, it's more of a, a martial... This is the Chinese understanding, by the way. It's more of a martial art. So Qigong is very, very good for bringing that energy into the body and just fantastic. If you're interested in picking up this Qigong course by Tristan Truska, Scott and Peter Ragnar, go to extremehealthradio.com forward slash Qigong, that's Q-I-G-O-N-G, and you can learn more about it. There's a great video on that page, and you can learn more about it on that page, and I highly, highly recommend this product. I love it myself, so go ahead and check that out, extremehealthradio.com forward slash Qigong. Supported. Extreme Health Radio. Opening minds and transforming lives worldwide. worldwide. Don't forget to join our thriving community for health tips, inspiration, and show updates at extremehealthradio.com slash Facebook. I swear, Kate, we have to figure out what the heck this guy's singing about. <laughs> don't we? I didn't expect that. I don't know if it's English. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but I, I feel like I'm sitting on a porch in Louisiana, and that's that's a good place that's to be. That's always a good place to be. Right. Preservation Music Hall. Right? I love it. <laughs> it's got to be some Cajun thing, right? Oh, for sure. I did a little of my own research yeah, during the break doing, here. Yeah, you were doing West Side research, weren't I you? I sure was. <laughs> West <laughs> <Good> Coast <one>. <laughs> research. <laughs> I find it, uh, you know, biblically, from a biblical 
historical standpoint of uh-huh. uh, you know Noah and the Ark when he sent the dove out at the end of the flood to go see if there was some actual land. He sent the dove out and the dove came back with an olive branch. You know, so just another story to you know illustrate that everything <laughs> shows the power of these trees. If everything else was completely supposedly wiped out, uh, oh, right. the olive tree made it through. The floods the and flood. it thrived and it was alive and it was the very first you know sign of life and oh that's right I find After that really arc. fascinating Came isn't that wild that all of these branch. ancient books and right. these texts it's so weird isn't it mm-hmm. I mean there must be something going on there must be something these magical trees yeah yeah wow so um, Jeff I was just wondering do you know if there's any other references to the olive uh, tree and other religions and other ancient texts and things uh no, I actually do not. I have no idea. That is that is Bible scholar. You need your PhD in that one. But I could find out if you wanted me to. Yeah. Well, we'll let Justin go ahead and research I'll that on his free time. <laughs> hey, Jeff, where do you guys keep these trees? Like, where are they actually processed? Um, we actually found that in Europe is typically where you get the right conditions. And when I say conditions, the, the therapeutic component, that all your rope and that goes in the dolinolate, the, the main ingredient, um, it really depends on the condition of the soil, the condition of the weather. And I like to relate it to uh, wine, right? Mm-hmm. They, they purposely stress the wine plant or the grapes so that you get a bolder flavor. It's that same kind of theory, and it really depends because they don't can, they don't purposely do one thing or another. They just let it grow, and we actively search for leaves every single year. And right now, we're able to find leaves about once every three years. Oh, and so we look, and that's just part of our own personal, you know. Uh, process of making sure they're the highest quality and the highest quality only comes around once every three years so yeah. when you find it you buy it yeah so yeah. obviously i'm assuming that these trees that you guys are using aren't sprayed whereas other companies may use some sprays or you don't know where they're coming from right yeah I, I, again most of the time especially even in the extraction if you see an olive leaf extract you're probably not getting sprays now i can't say that for olive oils they're looking for a different component. And so a lot of times the, the regular olive leaf extract typically will be without sprays. But the extraction process, I'm not saying what people do or at all, but a lot of times it's not 100% natural. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's, again, where we find the big difference because we're looking at, like you said, something that's been around a long time. It, it's, it's already perfect the way it is, if you will. Mm-hmm. And to go and start adding chemicals, you know, we just, we've done a lot of testing. We see that you lose that same therapeutic component. Um, it's interesting. One of the easiest ways to tell how potent an extract is is by the color. Oh, by really? The, yeah, really yellow means you've lost just about everything mm. most of the time. Mm. There are some new processes they're coming out with that filter it to white, and they actually didn't use any chemicals, but it's... Very, very, very expensive. <laughs> wow! So the yellow, the yellowness is probably coming from trees that are on the strip in Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. From the people walking down the road and hey, I don't have a bathroom. This one works. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh don't think gosh. you want to be buying any of those products. Wow. Yeah. That's so, funny. so with the uh, with the olive trees, have you ever heard of people doing tinctures out of olive leaf? Doing what? Pictures? T- tinctures, yeah. Making tinctures? Like huh. droppers? Like dropper bottles, like little, you know, those little... Um, oh. Those types of things? Yeah, they, they have. They, they are actually out there. We've looked into it, um, and basically you're just not breaking it into a powder. But it, it in all fairness, it looks to be really effective. Um, we just, we don't, we haven't had anything. Again, you're going to look at that percentage of all your open. But that's, right. that would that would be the main thing. And, Isn't that yeah. Wild? Yeah, wild. So I know you can't really talk too much about the extraction process, but could you just kind of share what you can um, in terms of how, you know, you extract uh, the all you rope in and all that, if, if you can? Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll 
fly by it, if you will. Um, (laughs) Again, those, the leaves, it's that we will not take anything that's less than 18%. And typically we look for an all your open content of 20%. And then there's ratios to figure out because you will never find a leaf that's 20%. 20%. You'll typically find them anywhere from 2 to 7%, and there's ratios to figure out what that will give you in a yield. And so we've got those fun ratios. We, we go ahead, we break it down all the way, um, no chemicals, filter it, if you will, um, get it so that there's no longer any wet part or native extract, mm-hmm. and basically dry it, if you will so that it turns into a powder. Now, I did fly by that pretty, <laughs> pretty generic. <laughs> right, right. Um, but again, we, for ours, and these are always public knowledge for anybody, and even if you're going and going to buy olive leaf from somebody else, you know, ask, hey, can I see your, your, uh, your testing, your HPLC testing, your certificate of analysis. Uh-huh. These are all things that are required to make sure there's not heavy metals, there's not uh, pesticides, and you know there there are minimums that you have to you have to be below. And with ours, they come out and there's just nothing because we don't do anything. All of our whole process is very basic, um, but very specific, if you will. Wow. So how many milligrams do you take a day? Uh, for me, I'm right around 500 milligrams for me. Okay. Um, but I take it every single day, and then I really rely on our flu band, which has 500 milligrams of the olive leaf extract, but it's also got some neem leaf. And neem leaf is, is another great little plant that helps with all the symptoms of a cold or flu. Uh-huh. And so whenever I kind of feel like I've got Sniffles coming on, I'll, I'll jump my dosage to about three, three grams a day, which is about six pills, and I'll take that for two or three days, and I, then I drop down to my one pill, and I just keep chugging along and don't, yeah. don't really notice anything. And you're talking to a guy that hasn't gotten sick in, I was reminiscing about this a little while ago, seven years, and I, ha- I, don't, I don't get flu shots. So even with all the crazy different types of flus, last year we had a, a strand. It's an H1 strand, and kind of like H1N1, but uh-huh. last year was H1N3. Whenever you see that H1 strand, that's where we see a lot of people getting sick. The vaccinations don't work. We had it again this year. You know, um, Vaccination worked a little bit better. But I find it so interesting. To get a flu vaccination, they're going to figure out this summer – what you're going to need in 2015, they're going to pick the top three strands that they think are going to come out, and then they mass produce it and tell everybody to go get a flu vaccination, whether it's the strand or not. You got to go get it. That's so there's just crazy. you know, the, <laughs> I, as much as I love trusting my body to uh, ten complete strangers, <laughs> I, I'd rather own my own immune system, you know, on something that I know works. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, so I would imagine the flu ban would be something good for people that are a little bit older because I think what happens is that people just get older and they get into their 70s, 80s and things and then they start worrying about all the propaganda that goes on with these flus. And so something like this could be a natural way to sort of get a flu shot but not, right? Yeah, and it's more that preventative. Mm -hmm. You were talking a little bit before the commercial, oh, I should get on it now. It's getting your immune system strong today because tomorrow when it happens, you're now playing catch-up. And that's why, you know, we have on our bottle suggested doses, one to two pills three times a day. Mm -hmm. I know my body doesn't need three pills a day. I only need one. And so, but I've also been taking it for seven years every single day. And then I increase my dosages before I go on vacation. Why? Why? Because it's a bummer to take off work, go on vacation, then get sick on vacation. That's no fun. Like we all do, right. (laughs) Yeah, because you're in a different environment. You're on an airplane. I love when you sit on an airplane and somebody sneezes and the sun's coming through and you just see the floating particles. And you're like, (laughs) where are those going? Because I know I'm going to be breathing them in, you know? Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. (laughs) Totally creep factor. I know, that's just horrible. (laughs) 
Oh. Good night. Yeah, that's wild. So with the uh, the delinolate, I was looking at your website. It's pretty interesting because I was thinking, um, okay, it's a little bit pricey. You know, it's it's a little bit of an investment, but you know, like we're talking about during the break, Kate. I mean, yeah. how, how you know pre- prevention is is the name of the game, right? Pay but, now or you pay later, right? That's right. And I was looking at the price, and I thought, okay, you know, if I just did the math on this and worked it out, 180 capsules. If I did one a day, that would last a person eight, uh, six months. <laughs> uh huh. So that's a really good deal for six months. Yeah, even if you were on what two a day, two a day is less than a dollar a day. Yeah. So you're you're talking fifty cents, which I know people. I've I've walked down the street and they drop a quarter on the ground and they won't pick it up. If it's silver, I pick it up. But you know, it, it's amazing. Fifty cents falls into the couch. That's the difference between you turning those sick days into vacation days that 50 cents rolling in your couch yeah yeah it's really really cost effective when you see the initial price it's sort of like i would imagine going to you know going to the grocery store and buying six months worth of food you're going to walk away going oh my gosh what did i just spend but if that means you don't have to go to the grocery store for six months i mean Mm -hmm. so it's pretty pretty cool i like the um I like the fact that there's 180, and I like the fact that you know if you're relatively young, you don't need to be taking four of these a day. Um, so you know, one capsule a day will last uh, six months. You know, it's great. Yeah, and again, you know, I I like to compare it to cars. If you're going to go out there and get a Ford Focus, and mm-hmm. you expect to be able to go zero to sixty in in two seconds, well. You have unrealistic expectations. You really are going to get what you pay for. Right. Um, you know, there's going to be other, other olive leaf extracts, but again, they only the therapeutic component lasts two to twenty minutes. So you're going to need to take what ten times, twenty times the amount for that one pill versus our one pill. And when you start comparing the cost that way, you go, "Oh my gosh, we're a lot cheaper." And I've compared it to all your open content, to what you're getting. And believe it or not, it's actually cheaper. It's just you don't need as much. So when I say one a day is enough, and like you were saying, Justin, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's six months worth of, worth of keeping your body healthy and strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you know, six months, you're going to go through a couple different seasons. And so yeah. what a great time or a great amount. You can buy two bottles that will last one person for a year. Right, right. You know, and uh, you can just have it all year long. And what I love is I'll I'll talk to people, and they'll try it, and they'll, you know, give us a call. Hey, you know, I've been on it. I feel good. I feel great. And, and, and then I go, okay, well, we just went through the cold and flu season. Do you normally get sick? Oh, now that I think about it, I, I actually normally get a little cold. Did you get one this year? You know, I didn't get one. And it's kind of that aha moment <laughs> right. after the fact of, oh, um, you, I've got a lot of people that'll start seeing their blood pressure decrease, and these, there's amazing little components to this olive leaf extract that just have all these different effects. That you know, when your body starts working properly, it's amazing what it can accomplish. Yeah, I love it. We're gonna take a little break now because uh, that way we can make sure we have a little longer segment at the end. Um, but it's really interesting. If you guys would like to join the show, you can always go to extremehealthradio.com/live. And you can listen to the live show on that page every morning at 9 a.m., Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So make sure to check that out. And uh, we're going to take a little break here. But I wanted to read something. This is just often a Fox News article, actually, uh, before we take a break um, about um, Olive Leaf. And it says here, I realize that Jeff can't make any claims because he's involved with the company. And we can't either. But I'm simply reading off a Fox News article. And it says, Olive leaf is an especially good source of the anti-cancer compounds apigenin and letolinin. I'm not saying that right. <laughs> and is a source of the anti-malarial agent cinchonin and oleopropin and has been shown to have protective capabilities used against breast cancer. Wow. It's an anti-inflammatory and all this just goes on and on and on. So we'll put a link to this foxnews.com if you can believe that Mm. crazy right i can't believe that but that's awesome (laughs) i know so we'll link to that and we're going to talk a little bit after the break about some of the uses for this and you know that article just mentioned malaria 
Um, I know it has some good things to do with herpes and things. So we'll talk about that and kind of dance around that so the FDA doesn't <laughs> doesn't do anything to us so we don't end up in jail. <laughs> it doesn't cut down our trees. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be right back with Jeff Melcher from East Park Research right after this break. The history of heat therapy dates back over 2,400 years, and it was Hippocrates who said, Give me the power to produce fever, and I will cure all disease. This FDA-approved medical device called the Biomat is a mat that you can lay on, read on, sleep on, do yoga on, sit on, and it can be used on office chairs, massage tables, and the like to help the body heal itself. It's inlaid with 30 pounds of healing crystals using amethyst and a rare black tourmaline producing negative ions in a healing electrical field. These healing crystals help to restore cellular health by replacing electrons to the atoms as well as penetrating deep into the body by four to six inches. What can the Biomat do for you? It'll improve your skin, burns as many calories as if you went jogging for 30 minutes, it improves the immune system by up to 40% or more, reduces stress and fatigue, removes toxins, lowers cholesterol, relieves pain, revitalizes cellular metabolism, it improves cell channels to deliver nutrients and oxygen to every one of your cells. It activates over 3,000 enzymes. And even a Harvard medical study showed cancer cells die at over 42 degrees Celsius. It reduces stress hormones by up to 78%. It allows your body to produce heat shock proteins, which increases endorphins, NK cells, T cells, and lymphocytes. It's very, very low EMF, and it's got a 17-layer technology. Dr. Mark Circus is the director of the International Medical Veritas Association. Uh, explain to us more about these biomats. These biomats are these far infrared mattresses. You lay on them, or you sleep on them, or both. You do you know, very heavy treatments during the day, and at night you, you know, sleep at you know, just a nice, comfortable temperature. These biomats are like these love machines, comfort machines, and healing machines. Because what they do is they just radiate out light, far infrared light, and you can radiate yourself all night long while you're sleeping when you're not doing anything else. And what happens is this light penetrates the body and turns to heat. And the first thing that happens when you bring your core body temperature up one degree is your immune system strength increases by 40, 50%. They feel when you lay down on them, you know, you guys know you have one. So it's like the feeling is so good. It's like being in the cuddling with a lover, your wife or husband. It's just warmth and comfort. How are you using biomats for patients in your clinics? You know, the, the cancer treatment using heat is very aggressive, meaning during the day, you sandwich yourself in between two of them, turn it on to high heat, mm -hmm. and bake the cancer. The cancer will die before you will. No, this is, you know, That's you can awesome. go to England and spend the $20,000 and use microwave a cancer out of existence. Uh, these biomats basically do the same thing. You know, radiation therapy for cancer is really a solid idea. Unfortunately, oncologists use the wrong radiation. They use radiation that kills you. This biomat uses radiation that can save your life and make your life more comfortable, keep you warm in the cold, and help take care of your kids and all, you know, the list doesn't end. Yeah, because isn't there some sort of temperature at which cancer cells will right. start dying? Right, and it's below the temperature that human cells will die. So you really like this biomat far infrared technology, don't you? But it's, it's really, it's strengthened me. Well, now the kids are addicted to it. You know, they fight on who's going to sleep on it at night. And it changed, not only changed my life, but it changed my medical practice and my books. This is a great machine for anybody who lives in the cold during the winter. Instead of heating a big house, you just heat yourself. With the bottom line, it brings good feelings. Just lay on this biomat and it gives the strength back. I can attest to that indeed. Kate and I love ours and we think you will too. Learn more about these amazing biomats at extremehealthradio.com forward slash biomat. Or you could check them out in our store as well. Again, that's extremehealthradio.com forward slash biomat.
opening minds and transforming lives worldwide. Join our community today. Sign up to our email list and instantly get our free gift to you, along with loads of inspirational content and cutting-edge tips to help change your life. At ExtremeHealthRadio.com slash subscribe. All right, we're having a great time here with Jeff Melcher from East Park Research. I hope, hopefully, you are enjoying this interview. And this is episode number two hundred and twelve. And if you would like any information on that bio mat, please let me know. It's a significant investment, but it's just really one of those things that does incredible things for your health. And we love ours. So if you have any questions about it before you make a purchase, we'd love to help you out in case you want to know anything about it. And as the lady said, don't forget to check out our newsletter. If you'd like to stay up up to date with our shows and keep up to date with everything that's going on here at Extreme Health Radio, sign up to the newsletter. We'll send you that free ebook right away that sells for about $20 on Amazon. So it's really a good deal. We send you that uh, immediately after you sign up and we send you about one or two emails a week and that's about it. So And that's about it. You won't get sick of us. We won't bombard you. We won't bombard you. Yeah. So don't forget to check out our newsletter series at extremehealthradio.com slash subscribe. And we're having a good conversation here, aren't we? I, I, I made a decision during the break. Uh oh. That if if I owned this company, uh-huh. I would be I would rename it to Y'all All You're Open to make it even more <laughs> confusing for people. Y'all And you have to say it real fast. Y'all, y'all You're Open. <laughs> I love it. Why not? I mean, talk about a, a catchy business name, right? That was just Y'all Y'all are open. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, is a great way to remember it, Jeff, though. Like, that, that sticks with you, doesn't it? I love hey, it. Hey, you're hired. Ah, thank you. <laughs> I'll hilarious. take it. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's so funny. Uh, so with the, uh, with Olive Leaf, I was kind of joking around before the break about the FDA and things. And <laughs> I realized that you can't make any claims as far as what it will do for people. But what can we talk about in terms of particular ailments? Uh, this article here mentions breast cancer. It talks about it being anti-inflammatory. And so I wanted to bring like a, a third party article in here that we could kind of talk about so that it's not you know, so, so we're not making claims, basically, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Well, what's, what's great, too, is because we have done so much research, a lot of times what I'll start out saying is studies show, da 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 and right. studies show this, and, and you're able to kind of go, okay, you know, like, like I've, I've got a study you had mentioned uh, herpes. Uh-huh. And I've got a study. Our study is called oh. In Vitro Anti-HSV-1 Activities of d at Different Concentrations. And so whenever you're looking at a company and studies and research, we didn't put all of leaf extract in there because we want people to know it's we actually tested it with our product. And this isn't just some university or you know, study facility in Mexico. This study was actually done at LSU. So we, we do look for very credible locations. And believe it or not, in this specific study, we tested it against Abriva and were significantly better than even Abriva for our um, herpes interaction. <laughs> wow. And wow. So we, when we go and look, we do try to take on the most challenging and in that, you can start to defer to what other pieces. Uh, for example, candida. Candida is one of those things which is really just a yeast infection. So candida is, we call it, the, the hardest yeast to get rid of, if you will. And so any yeast underneath that, if you can get rid of candida, you can get rid of anything else. And so we kind of, we attack the, the big dogs, if you will. And, you know, candida affects, I think... What, it's like 30 million, 70 million? No, 70 million Americans suffer from it. When they start to look at it, they say there's millions more. They just don't have those same symptoms. And so we actually did a study on Candida, looked at it, and it just it knocks it dead. And I actually have uh, an employee here at our office that had candida really bad, had her blood work. I go, you're not taking your delinolate. I know because <laughs> this would be gone. Right. I go, here's a bottle. Start taking 
you know, three a day, one every eight hours, because that's that therapeutic, you know, time lapse, one every eight hours. She went back to her doctor six months later, no candida at all in her body. Oh, my God. None whatsoever. Just completely gone. And then guess what? He started selling the product because he goes, this stuff works. That's Isn't amazing. That <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. We had, uh, there's a, a book that we promote. It's called Yeast Infection No More. And, uh, it's really a great book. And we'll put a link to it on this show page. But one of the things it talks about, um, is candida and how to get rid of yeast infections. And, uh, one of the main things that it talks about is olive leaf extract. So it's, I mean, it's, it's known for candida. And we've been doing some research lately that have, has been showing, um, the connection between yeast infections and, all kinds of diseases and some of them being cancer. So there, there's some sort of connection between yeast, yeast, yeast and, and overgrowth of candida and fungal diseases like cancer, I, I think. I, I really think so too. And I, I don't think us as a scientific community, if you will, have really unlocked all those little codes. Um, you know, just recently they were able to actually take a picture of DNA. That was one of the big accomplishments of last year. I'm like, oh, great, you're taking a picture, but we're not able to help anybody with things, you know? Right, right. Um, <laughs> and, and so I think we're, we're kind of slowly coming along, but I'm right there with you when your intuition, and if it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it's, it, it's a duck, right? And so if your intuition is going, oh, wow, there's some real similarities with this candida and these, and these pieces to cancer, and maybe there is something to it. Yeah, it's it's uh there's a guy over at um his name's Doug Kaufman and he's got a website called Know the Cause and he talks about cancer being a fungus. And same with this doctor in Italy, uh Dr. Tullio Simoncini and he's Whoa. he's doing some work with uh, <laughs> His uh, name might be more confusing than all y- y'all 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 roping. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's all the Italian you, you right, right, right. <laughs> Um but he's doing some work where he's injecting uh tumor cells a cancerous tumor cells with baking soda and bicarbonate. And I'm not sure if you're familiar with him, but uh, it's interesting because this article here I'm reading says that uh, this oliropian exhibits antibacterial, antiviral, and an- antifungal activity. So again, it still all kind of goes back to these diseases that could be related to candida and fungus mm-hmm. and these types of things, you know? Yeah, and let's take it one step further, you know, anthrax. There was a big anthrax scare, if you guys remember, back in 2002, 2003. That's right. Nobody wanted actually, to open their mail, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. And we actually went to George Mason University because we go, you know what? This delinolate is so powerful. Let's test it against anthrax. Just, mm. just try it. Let's just see what happens. And yeah. we actually knocked anthrax dead. Just to show the potency of it. It's just astonishing. I'll talk to oncologists uh, and anybody that's going through cancer, and what's funny is the one time you cannot take the linolate, the only scenario that you will always hear me say is if you are going through chemo radiation, you cannot take the delinolate because we've actually seen it kill the radiation. Oh make your goodness. immune system so strong that it makes the chemo radiation <laughs> not do what it's supposed to. Wow. You are kidding. That's incredible. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> wow. Oh, my gosh. Wow. So are there any times, this kind of oh. brings up a, a situation where I'm thinking, are there times in people's lives where they wouldn't want to take it, like pregnant women, or is there anything that people wouldn't want to take this for, any times of life? You know, I will... Always say talk to your doctor if you're any if you're having an um, uh, you know if you're in a very specific circumstance like pregnancy um, just because there are things that transfer over you are sharing the same blood um, if you're on a lot of medications just double check we haven't found any contraindications with any uh, medications as far as being on the delinolate um, again. If you have an autoimmune disease or you're fighting something like that, then talk with your doctor. They, they, a lot of doctors nowadays really do know there is something to olive leaf extract, mm-hmm. or they'll look it up and go, oh, well, let's start you out a little slower. Or you just give us a call, and we'll, you can talk to me and help walk through, here's what we've done in the past. Mm-hmm. I'm not a doctor, but here's what we've done. 
you can talk to my wife. She is the doctor, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but as far as what I know, here's what you here's here's the steps that we've seen work. And I kid you not, I'm a firm believer that if you were able to go into the rainforest and you know pull off all the different trees, and th- I think there's a natural component to every different thing that we we come in contact and have to fight off. I really do. I I just don't think we've we've learned about it yet. I mean, all of leaves. Who would have thought 30 years ago that this may be the code for you to control your own immune system so that you don't get sick? It's just, it took us 18 years to get to that point, to have enough research to then be able to do a clinical double-blind study on people you know, but it just, it's one of those things that takes time. Yeah, I, I completely, it's an awesome time to be alive because you have Isn't so it? much going on that, you know, things that we didn't know about 30 years ago, like you said. Do you know if there's any um, contraindications with other supplements? Like, are there any other uh, supplements that it would be maybe not so good to take with it? N- no. And <laughs> interestingly enough, we've, I've been working on trying to get delinolate with vitamin C because I just love vitamin C. Yeah. Yeah. It just, it works. I don't, I'm looking into nanotechnology, breaking down the molecule, and in the whole process, I found the delinolate helps the vitamin C absorption randomly. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> wow. and so that was just kind of a, I, I'm not going to go do a whole study on it. I'm just, you're going to have to take my word for it. Sure. But, you know, that's what we found, and that's why we came up with delinolate with Manipole. We start seeing these the combinations really start to work. And again, it's all about making your body function the way it's supposed to. Mm-hmm. It's, we're, not, we're not going in and adding a chem- chemical. It's, we're going in and helping your body function the way it needs to. That's all. So it's not doing the killing. It's sort of helping your body do the killing then, I guess. Absolutely. Yeah. It's okay. going and making your white blood cells, your Pac-Man, so strong that it can go and conquer anything it comes in contact with. That's all it's doing. The olive leaf extract's great, but it's what it's doing to your body. And then your body, that's how we can say it has an antiviral. There is nothing out there that can kill a virus. Only your body can, your body's immune system. You make that immune system strong enough, you don't need to go get your flu shot. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So... You know, with something that's this powerful, something that you said can kill radiation and, you know, and chemotherapy or whatever, um, and anthrax and something that does these types of things, um, or has these types of effects on those substances. Um, if someone's going to be taking this, uh, let's say they start out slow, would they need to make sure they're drinking enough water or making sure that they don't have any liver issues so that they can, open up the detoxification pathway so that this kind of stuff can exit the body easily? Yeah, and, that's, and that would be the main reason why we'd start you off slow. Um, the Herxheimer's reaction, that die-off effect, it will make you sicker than a dog, but it's actually a good sign. It means it, the delinolate's going in and actually wiping out everything. And so that's the main thing. Drink lots of water. Let it filter all the way through. And if you need to start out slow, start out slow. Wow. You can start out high, you can. Not a problem. It's up to you and your immune system. And delinolate's a great way to start at a cellular level. So did you yourself have any um, Herxheimer reactions? If, I, if I'm only taking one and then I go ahead and I'll, I'll load up, um, if I take three or four at a time, yes. <laughs> I, I mm-hmm. snuck in and I took four. I was like, oh, you start to get hot. You feel like, you know start sweating, you know, I'm a little off, and then you just see me start chugging water as fast as I can, <laughs> going, oh, no, I know exactly what this is. So, yes, I have experienced it. It is not fun. Oh, my gosh. Wow. So that just shows us that we've got some, uh, you know, excess maybe toxins or viruses in our bodies, right? All the time. Mm-hmm. They're there. Millions of them. Yeah, it's interesting because a lot of people will say, well, what are you doing taking these pills? You know, why, why are you taking... You know, these herbs or these supplements or this olive leaf, you know, if it makes you feel bad, why are you taking it? But <laughs> yeah. it's really just the opposite is the case, right? Yeah, because it, once, once the linoleate has a chance to work, you're not going to feel that. That's just the first timer coming on or you're taking a, an exorbitant dose. Um, but yeah, 
literally your body is playing host to millions of pathogens at any given time, and it's keeping that immune system strong enough to keep you at bay so that you can go and take on the world. That's wild. I'm looking at some other studies here, and it looks like there's studies that um, in 1999 from Hess, I'm not even sure what university, uh, talked about diabetic rats were given olive leaf extract and shown to have reduced weight, lowered cholesterol, and normal blood glucose levels. So it's it's doing something with diabetes too. Oh yeah, and we've you know we've done the therapeutic effect of delinolate against um, experimental infections. I mean mm-hmm. we've taken it all different roads to see what the patented extraction process of delinolate can really do and. We, we really don't find anything that, that that can stop it, which is just amazing. That's wild. What a crazy thing. I mean, who would Even have West Nile virus. We, we, you know, they, you see on the news, they go, oh, there's no cure for West Nile virus. Well, it's kind of an oxymoron. There's no cure for viruses, but <laughs> take the West Nile virus. Guess what? Mm-hmm. Test it against that. Knocks it dead. Why? Because it's making your immune system strong enough to take on that virus. You know, it'd be a great thing to do is to is to up your dosage during the winter months, or maybe when you go flying, if you go traveling a lot, where your mm-hmm. stresses are high. You know, it'd be just great to kind of double the dose, you know, while you're doing that kind of thing. I always do. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you, I always do because I really work hard so I can take a vacation, and yeah. I do not. I want to enjoy that vacation. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because when you go gambling, you know, you gotta you gotta have that energy. <laughs> Pushing those buttons will really do a wonder on you. Uh, and what you could catch off those buttons could be fought off by the all. I know, buttons. right? Who knows what's on those buttons? Creepy, I know. You might win a million bucks, but you're gonna get a cold to go with it. <laughs> uh, well, thanks, Jeff. That for was sp- fun. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. Thanks for sp- spending so much time with us. I appreciate that. Not a problem. It was great. I just. Want everybody to know there's something out there you can do. That's that's it. Nothing else. Just take control of your immune system. I love it. I love it. All right. So if anyone wants to get this olive leaf extract, you can visit uh, the links on our show page, or you can go to extremehealthradio.com slash olive leaf, all one word, and you can check that out. And this is episode 212. So uh, if you guys are listening live, which we do, we have a lot of live listeners right now, we're going to be signing off. And you can catch further information when Kate and I talk about this episode on the podcast. And we'll get that up on the internet as soon as we possibly can. But uh, we're going to be signing off the live show right now. Okay. Thank you, Jeff. That was awesome, man. That was so much fun. So much fun. (laughs) I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah. That was one of our most fun interviews, Kate and I were saying Mm -hmm. during the break. Oh, you mean I wasn't boring? <laughs> Any, anything but. <laughs> You're a lot of fun. That was really, well, seriously, that was just fun. It was perfect combo of, of um, I don't know, information slash just entertainment. You just have a really great way about you. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate it. Okay, awesome. Well, we will be in contact. I'll send you the link to the show. You can share it with whoever you like. Awesome. I'll probably put it up in... Uh Put it up on my website so other people can link to you also. Awesome. awesome. Well, thank you for thank that. You. Um, yeah. I'll send you an email probably tomorrow. How about that? Perfect. Sounds awesome. great. great. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks. Have Bye-bye. Good. Take care. Bye-bye. So Jeff Melcher, he was a fun fun interview, wasn't he? He was a really fun interview. I liked him. He, was, he reminded me of... Stan and John. Stan and John. I know from... Um, the Bellicon. The Bellicon. Yeah, he was just fun. He was a funny guy, wasn't he? All those guys, all three of them are funny. They're just the right amount of funny and knowledge and and <clears throat> just entertaining. It was just a really easy flow and yeah, I had a blast with him. <laughs> <laughs> he was great. I liked. Him now he's a lot. talking about people peeing on the trees and the olive trees if there were any along the strip in Vegas. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, he was fun to kind of play off of a bit. Yeah, I liked his. I like what he's doing with the uh, olive leaf extract. I think that's really cool. Yeah, I do too. It's really. Um, so I don't know to that olive branch, isn't there? There is something to the olive tree, isn't there? There's something about it. Hmm. You know, just the fact that it's mentioned so many times in the Bible, and I'm sure other ancient books as well. Yeah, I think so too. I'm, I'm determined to kind of do a little research uh, with all my extra time, yeah. but um, I really am interested to see what other texts that the olive branch is so pertinent in. I know, right? I'm sure it's mentioned in other I'm sure. ancient texts. And, um, like, uh, you know, I was surprised at that Fox News article where they talked about all the healing powers of the 
Olive Leaf. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, Fox News. That's pretty mainstream. Yeah, that was that was, that was surprised to me. When was that from? Did you know when that got released? Um, this January twenty third, two thousand thirteen. Okay, so a year ago. So a year ago. So not too ago. long ago. Hmm. But I didn't realize that you brought this up that it was uh, actually mentioned in the story of Noah's Ark too. Right. That's <clears> kind of trippy, huh? Yeah. Yeah. The healing power of olive leaf. The healing power of olive leaf, yeah. Yeah, and I guess it comes from Morocco. The, oh, oh, the actual product. You mean not the olive tree and <laughs> where it originated from? Well, it says, uh, as I write this article, I'm in the fabled North African country of Morocco where the annual olive harvest is in full swing. This is what Jeff wrote? Um, Jeff. From our interview? Is that who wrote that? Oh, no. <clears throat> oh. Excuse me. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm reading an article from Chris on Fox News. Oh, from Fox News. Got it. Yeah. Um, hmm. But yeah, interesting. Huh. Ezekiel 47, 12. Early references to the olive leaf as a medicine can be found in the Bible. The fruit thereof shall be for meat and the leaf thereof shall be for medicine. Well, that... Gosh, because olive oil is so good for you and I love olives. I mean, they are good for your health. I know, it makes right? sense. Interesting about the leaf, yeah. Because wonder how many trees actually have that property to them. Like I know, I know a lot of small plants have so many medicinal qualities. I wonder about actual trees. Do you think there's just as many trees with yeah. leaves that are as medicinal as plants, like in the Amazon? Well, the stuff? moringa, zija moringa, the zija moringa, moringa. That's yeah, a, that's that, a, yeah. That's Mo- a, moringa olifara. Yeah. Look at you and your little Latin yeah. words. I feel like I'm a botanist over here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> all you're open. All you're open. <laughs> y'all you're open. Y'all all you're open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, pretty mm. good stuff. If yeah. you guys are interested in this olive leaf, um, we really like what they're doing over at uh, East Park Research. And if you're interested in that, you can check it out at extremehealthradio.com slash olive. What is it? Olive leaf, right? Yeah. That's the link if you want to check it out. Yeah, we're gonna get on this stuff ourselves and um, and talk to you guys about how it's affecting us. But I think it's gonna be really good because he takes 500 milligrams a day, and you could take you could buy a bottle for 79 dollars. It'll last you six months. Right. That's what a couple cents a day. What would we think it was like? Forty like cents. Twelve cents 12? a day or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. With the bigger. Yeah. With the so bigger. if we both took one, you know, one pill each a day, that would be it would last us for three months. Yeah, I'm kind of turning. You- do you know on a stupid level, like not stupid level, but on a, a superficial level, yeah. I I just think the olive tree is the most pretty tree in my dream house that I've always seen in my brain. That one day, I kind of want a Spanish style house one day when yeah. we're when we're able to. Um, but all, something about the olive tree is just so beautiful. It's so beautiful every time I see one, I get excited. You know. I know it's really cool. Yeah, the wineries have them. There's just something so earthy and cool about the olive tree. It yeah, just, there's something so. It looks just like a historical tree, like it's just deep rooted it's been around it's hardy it's just yeah and it's just really cool looking i can't believe that some of those trees that are on the earth now are still producing fruit and they're they've been around since before christ is that true yeah the same tree the same tree if trees could speak right could you imagine no i would pay to hear that tree speak (laughs) you think (laughs) yeah i wonder what that tree has seen think about what that's seen i know Wow. So one specific tree you're saying is over 2,000 years old. That's insane. Yeah. I wonder yeah. how they know that. Does it have rings like every other tree? Yeah. How would they know that? I don't know. We need a we need a tree person It's on. like how they say, oh, there's 70 trillion cells in the human body. How do they know that? Right. right. You know, because you can't even have enough lifetimes to count to a trillion. No. You know? So how, how... It's obviously based off of math, right? Per square. Like they find a couple in a certain area and then they just... <clears throat> Magnify it by how much square footage is in your body or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, how they know that is probably, that's an interesting. Really crazy. Yeah, I want to, I would like to try that stuff. I mean, I know he can't make any claims or anything, but it sounds like it's doing really medicinal uh, miracles for people. I'm surprised that they haven't got into tinctures because that's a powerful way. Mm -hmm. But I I guess that one of their things is they they really try to have that, what is it, over 20% of the oliuropin? Oh, right. Uh, in their thing and I'm not sure if you can get that with a tincture maybe they've tried it and, and they haven't been able to get that high of a percentage mm. but hmm. uh, yeah it's works it's people have been using it for West Nile about herpes apparently anthrax yeah SARS 
Yeah, chemotherapy and radiation. That's interesting. I, I just made up SARS. I don't know if that's true, <laughs> but it sounds like it would work with anything. Uh, that's interesting about the chemo and radiation. That that's one thing you don't want to do if you're one. You know, it just negates all the ill effects. I mean, that's strong stuff. So what did he say? It did it killed the radiation? It kills the chemo from working, or was it the radiation? I, I had to think the chemo. I can't remember if he said ra- chemo or radiation that it killed, but it, it, he said in the lab test it actually killed the yeah. radiation. That's yeah. crazy. Isn't that wild? Yeah. Wild, right? I would imagine things like uh, fermented foods and, you know, for your immune system and then doing something like this would be a great, mm-hmm. great way to stay. You know, and also when you're traveling, too. Mm-hmm. Or in the fall, you know, when you might... Increase your dosage when people are getting sick. It might be a really good right. thing, you know. Or he was saying, I mean, it's so true. Anytime you travel, you go on an airplane, you know, to, to start doubling up on that stuff or just adding more in so that your chances of contracting something in that small space is a lot less. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I learned a lot. Yeah. Is it? Uh, I'm always up for learning. I know. I got nothing against knowledge. Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. Yeah. So he takes, he says he does 500 milligrams a day. Hmm. And he's relatively young. So if you wanted to do more than that, you could do more. But interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm interested. D-linolate. D-linolate. That's quite a name. That's a hard one. That is a hard one. D-linolate. D-linolate. Yeah. But Manipole and Oliuropin. Manipole. You know what I should have... I had this on my my list. Hmm. I wasn't sure if they actually... um, control the trees in the in the crops of olive trees that they that they have because I thought what an amazing thing would it be if they were to o- spray those trees and water them with ocean minerals oh right picking you know? up all those trace minerals then yeah could you imagine how powerful that would be see now if we had all the time and money in the world we would experiment around with these kind of things that's kind of what David Wolf does <laughs> he kind of just does this this kind of stuff for, yeah he seems to take everything to like how, the nth degree. What's the, yeah, what's the best I could possibly do with the best of everything, with the best <laughs> day ever? With the, I love it. That's awesome, isn't it? We should send this his way. <laughs> I know, David. Could you get to work on this for us? Experiment, yeah. and could you check all the uh, all the historical reference books and let us know how many times the olive branch is oh my gosh. spoken of? That's really cool. Yeah. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the show. This is episode two twelve, and if you'd like to continue the conversation on this show, you can always go to our forum and sign up. It's free to join and. Uh, it's just amazing. We have all these amazing listeners um, that are a part of the Extreme Health Radio community are uh, in, involved in the forum. So if you'd like to continue talking about things that have worked well for your immune system and ways that you've boosted your immune system and prevented getting colds and sicknesses, mm-hmm. uh, you can talk more about that in the forum. So yeah. uh, lots of people doing some crazy things in there. So it's really great. So if you want to go check that out, it's extremehealthradio.com slash forum. And this is episode 212. And as always, if you guys uh, would do us a favor and send this show to your friends. Please, please. Maybe your your father, mother, or any anybody in your family that needs needs to boost their immune system. Mm-hmm. Um, I think this would be a great show to send to them. I completely agree. Because although... We the, all have one. Yeah. We all need more. <laughs> <laughs> we all need stronger immune system. <laughs> no one's uh, no one, no one's not going to benefit from this. I know, right? And who's heard of this? I mean, not a lot of people. It's just it, whether or not you buy it, it's just really good knowledge to, to, have, to, to have. To know, yeah. To so next time, if you do get sick, you could always get some of this stuff and hopefully lessen the... Uh, effect of the cold or the flu, you know, to mm. a couple days instead of a couple weeks. Mm-hmm. So it's uh, extremehealthradio.com slash olive leaf, all one word, olive leaf. And you can check out the uh, different products they have on their website. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. If there's ever anything we can do for you, please let us know. And if you guys would like to support us further, you can always check out our store. We've got lots of great, great po- products in there, like the rebounders and the juicers and blenders and uh, detoxification programs and herbs for detoxification themselves, like the Juva program, all kinds of great stuff, the Bellicon Rebounder. So if you're interested in adding some really great, great products to your uh, detoxification and health routines, please check out our store. We've yes. got just cutting edge stuff in there. Yes, yes. So uh, check that out. It's exciting to see what, what people choose. How do you mean? Just, I, I find it interesting that when people write us an email, 
you know, we get emails all the time of someone who's done this and then somebody goes a completely different route and does that. Like, I like that people write us and tell us what it is they're choosing. Like, not everyone's going to choose everything they learn about. Oh, right, It's right. just fascinating, like, what people choose what and how it works for them and then they right. experiment with that and then they try something else and know, it's like right? we're all little science experiments. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? It's no, just it's exciting good. and it's really exciting to hear people getting healthy and trying things and stuff I wouldn't, you know, necessarily have tried myself i mean yeah yeah and then, and then i realized i might be open to that like it's just so cool to have these things like the forum going where we can all discuss what we're learning doing. and doing and what what has worked and just i just i love it it's cool so it's much really fun cool. and i love being around people that are going towards life you know they're not they're not trying to prevent disease they're not trying to work on getting over something but a lot of people most of the people in our forum they just want to get healthy they want to get to a level where they're have an open mind and they're living their passions and living their dreams and you know these are all it's an incredible community of people that are just reaching and they're moving towards something they're not they're not trying to do something to move away from something yeah they're really pushing towards to what's possible like yes uh daniel cosmic it talks about you know right and uh and so it's just really cool. Yeah, it's pushing it's really, the limits to see what we're actually. I love people like that, yeah. whether it's a super ultra marathoner, you know, uh-huh. pushing their body or a weightlifter or just somebody cool. just trying to get super healthy or, you know, just extremely too, like trying to just get uh, emotionally healthy. I mean, it's whatever people are doing in extremes mm-hmm. of anything, I think, or not extremes, but you know, like yeah. just the most they could push something to, yeah. I mean, it's to cool. see what they can achieve. Yeah. I like, don't what, know. like when I see weightlifters or I see people. Olympians and I see people doing these ultra marathons. It's so cool because, you know, I wouldn't want to do those things, but I just love that they're doing it to yeah. see like how far can the human body be pushed. Sure. And what's possible on the earth, you know? Well, sure. Heck, it makes a heck of a lot of a good story for. I mean, these people write books. They have something so neat to talk about. And <laughs> <laughs> Maggie, Maggie is licking the back of my neck and got a little too close to my right ear. <laughs> She's loving uh, this right now. She's hilarious. Oh my gosh, she's Maggie sitting right on your lap. Maggie must love olive leaf. Do you love olive leaf? She's extra? sitting right on your lap. She's so cute. That's hilarious. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining us on this episode. Uh, it's an honor to do this for you. And if there's ever anything we could do for you, please let us know. And you can always support us by uh, sending and passing this show on to your friends. We'd really appreciate it, either by Facebook or by email. Uh, we'd just be greatly appreciative. So thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you on the next episode. It's time to go for now. But our mission does not end with this show. Justin and Kate will be back with another interview packed full of ideas, discoveries and unique ways to regain your health. Head on over to extremehealthradio.com forward slash subscribe and instantly download our free gift too that contains cutting edge strategies to start making healthy lifestyle changes today. No material on this blog is intended to suggest that you should not seek professional medical care. Always work with qualified medical professionals, even as you educate yourself in the field of life, food, nutrition, and alternative medicine. I'm not a doctor, nor am I offering readers or listeners medical advice of any kind. None of the information offered here should be interpreted as a diagnosis of any disease, nor an attempt to treat or prevent any disease or condition. While information in this blog and during this podcast is discussed in the context of numerous conditions, it can be dangerous to take action based on any of the information on this podcast or in this blog, or to start any health program without first consulting a health professional.